This is the orchard of Harmonia. The Migmies grow the Harmelin. The Zefts strut along the Zeft Heights. The Awasis twitter among the Awasi woods. The Arctans roar through the Arctan Valley. And the Pescas boast of their Pesca Spring. The Merios reside within the United Town suburbs. In town, they all come together in harmony. The demigods protect everyone. Using zodiac powers that enrich both mind and body, they fight to protect the harmony from the noises. The Chosen Ones battle the bringers of chaos for three years before leaving our world. Many parents tell their children that the demigods go on to play among the stars. But even children know the truth. To obtain zodiac powers, a demigod must pay with their life. They receive three years of glory. Then they die, leaving their families greatly compensated and the most wonderful gift of all, harmony. And so, we grow up in fear, knowing that one day we too might be selected for greatness. Careful, Ulan. You almost stepped on the equipment I'm repairing. Walkways are meant for walking, Eko, not working. I know. I'd work over there, but the old geezer won't share the space. Who are you calling geezer, you filthy Pesca? If you've got a mouth to complain, you should use it to ask me to move. And if I asked, would you move? <laughs> of course not. That attitude will lead you to an early grave. You'll die when I do. Join transcendence, my friend. <sighs> Curse my fate. Oh, not you too, Lan. Don't look so dour. Who, me? <laughs> no, I'm quite happy. Even more so when my friends are getting along. You hear what she's saying, kid? Hmm. <sighs> Give our Pejo. He's never known how to keep quiet. Just three more months of your patience, please. If you don't mind, I'll go and patrol the orchard. I've had enough of this racket. Just three more months until Transcendence. Let's finish strong. Being a leader must be tough. I'd be happy to help sometimes, you know. Dagmar's giving me that look again. He might actually gobble me up this time. I'm not 
not the boy I was three years ago, you know. Your taunts won't make me cry, Arpeggio. More alone time? I think there's been a little too much of that lately. Noises. Awesome. Noises. Noises in the orchard. Right. Message received and understood. Demigods of the 333rd, head to the orchard. We'll meet there. Damn noises just won't give up. Perhaps they've taken a liking to you. Huh. The noises should know by now that you're the only one for me, dear Alessia. the noises there oh no there oh no thanks wait here target spotted okay it's on leave it to me
What? Time up! the noises. Where are they? I haven't come across any myself, but they've been seen near the town center. Stop, Echo. I know how you feel. The noises have found their way into the town. We must tread carefully. Hurry! Battle time. Let me help. Ready. This ends now. Hiya.
Looks like they're over there. Ulan. Healthy. Good luck. A Harmelon delivery? Thank you. What was that? Oh, my family manages McMe Messengers. My brother took over the business after my mother passed away. No, I mean... That we should get back to work and stop wasting time with Migmes? Stick your big back into your own business. Hey, don't be like that. Just three more months till we die after all. My apologies, Dagmar. Let's go. Battle time. I got this. Yeah. I'm fine. 
battle time. I got you.
The pesker aren't as foul-smelling as I imagined. That'll be the hard melon they all eat. Look, here they come. Bigger than I expected. Grand noises, if I'm not mistaken. Take you all off.
take you all on. Ready. Yeah! Don't underestimate us. like I was going to hold anything back. Keep it up till the curtain falls. You're the pride of the Pesca. Thank you. I'll give it my all. Echo! 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 What's the matter, Eko? There's something I want to discuss. Let's head back to our chambers. the noises in town more often. It feels nice to be praised. Huh. Go wreak havoc on your own town. Wanted to discuss something, Eko? Yes, it's about the noises we defeated in town. They're supposed to be a unique type found only in my homeland of Vatira. And yet we saw them here in Harmonia. I don't understand what's going on. We don't have time to idly wander such things. Though magic is my specialty, I'm well versed in the history of the harmony. It's really quite interesting. The noises have never appeared in town, at least not since our world was stabilized with the Harmalin. So you're telling me this is some kind of unprecedented catastrophe? And it has to happen when transcendence is upon us too? Talk about rotten luck. What should we do, Ulan? Hmm. This is too important. You know must decide. I'll go and seek her advice. I'm coming with you. That's Alec for you. Can't do anything without the goddess you know say so. If her permission helps him to fight with confidence, I see no harm in asking. So we wait for Alec. And while the illustrious goddess decides our fate, how about a game of Jester, Ulan? Thanks, but I'll have to pass. Oh, come on. We've known each other for 33 months and haven't played a single game together. 
Oh, I see. I thought you were just a poor player. But you don't actually know how to play, do you? Can't expect someone raised with a bunch of migmies to be up to snuff after all. All right, let's play. You'll regret insulting my upbringing. I can't imagine why Goddess Yuno chose you as our leader. You can't even hold your own at Jester! <laughs> hey, let's play again. What do you two think you're doing? Have you forgotten about the noises in Pesca Spring already? Something so horrible has never happened before! Yet here you are, arguing over some stupid game. A little sympathy wouldn't hurt, you know. Goddess Yuno is waiting. Let's go to the Arcadium. Demigods who serve the harmony. Alec and Echo have told me what has occurred. We are faced with two issues. First, the noises have infiltrated Harmonia itself. Second, this specific noise has previously only ever been seen in Vatira. We must ascertain the causes of both. To do so, you must head for Vitera and investigate. See if anything unusual has happened. At 
once, ma'am. In the meantime, I shall look into how the noises found their way into Harmonia. Come. Demigods of the 333rd, I beg you make haste in finding a solution to this unprecedented situation. Vatira is a great distance from here. Use this Havalian for your journey. His name is Fedora. Reacquaint yourself with your homeland, Echo, and guide your team well. I will, Goddess You know. I'm not from around there either, so don't worry, Mulan. I can help a city girl like you out. Hmm. And I must not forget the Twelve Arbiter's Temples. One lies in each area of Orcanon. Within the depths of each temple is an altar. Please pay your respects when you're nearby. The Arbiters have left gifts for the demigods at these altars. These gifts are known as crests, and they will help you on your journey. So, you've been holding out on us this whole time. I have not. It is simply that the power of the crests has not been necessary until now. Today, Demigod Echo leaves this beautiful city of water to journey across the lands as Harmony's warrior. May your name be carved into our scales, brave hero. You're amazing, Echo! Make us proud! We'll take care of things here! We're rooting for you! Represent us well and work hard, Echo. I will, Your Majesty. I'll put my all into these three years. You are the pride of the Pescas, Echo. I shall pray for your success with each fruit I eat. Thank you, my queen. I should go now. To Harmonia, please. Morin! Is it true you're never coming back? This is the last time we'll meet? Well, we do get some time off. So we can swim upstream in the river again? I guess. Promise me. I promise. A run-down backwater town. No, it's been destroyed. The noises were here. Wait. I know how you feel, Echo, but we must be cautious. This is serious. Where is everyone? They haven't died, have they? How could this happen? The noises attack, cause chaos, and make a mess of the fruit. But they do not destroy bones. They don't know the importance. 
So you're saying the town was attacked for some other reason? By someone who hated the Pescas. Who cares enough to hate them? You never know. The Pescas might have left one too many scales or puddles lying around. Do you all really think so little of the Pescas? Well, I don't see any bodies unless they've been eaten. The Pescas are hiding somewhere. With this much damage, there has to be a witness. You're right. Let's see if we can find someone. <laughs> 